Oh boy. Well, hello my friends and welcome back to yet a, another restart of EU4. We're going to be playing again as, as England. So, let me explain while I get all of my windows right. So, <laughs> um, someone ordered uh, these demises. No, not something. So, let me explain why I'm going to be doing this. I managed to get myself in a second coalition war at the last stream and it made me realize that every time I go into a coalition war that is going towards me it just it, it sets me back like minimum 10 years every time every time 10 years and every time that this happens I can either go back and reconquer the um, the islands or Brittany and the change of religion from um, Catholic, Catholic to the Engelopet or something that actually wasn't too bad this time. To going to Protestants was way worse, way worse. Um, so we'll just see how we can do this. I feel that if I don't do this again, it, it's just there's so many mistakes. There's so many mistakes on my on my part. Like the second coalition war was triggered because we actually got into Denmark and I got all of these provinces around here and it triggered right away. Why why did I go so far over my aggressive expansion? Because I was hungry for 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 clay. People call it clay apparently, which is cool. And I should not have done that. So if, if you're watching this now, or if you're watching this in the future, like on YouTube, let me, give me advice, give me advice, truly, give me advice, because I could really, really use that. Uh, considering I'm a new player, so let me show you off, I got 120, no, 220 hours in total, uh, as you can see over here. Uh, I've, been, I've been playing, I've, I've, I've made this restart like 50 times, I'm sure Wenek here in the chat is like, uh, just face palming all over, just hitting his face on his desk pizza and uh, just smush everywhere everywhere but well, we're going to do it <laughs> we're going to be doing it um yeah and i feel i still think the start that i i had that i've practiced here on twitch i think it's really strong so and i will show you again i'll take things a lot slower uh there you go you can see england take 25 uh but this time we're just going to be calling it um that is definitely not how I want to call it. Let me get my name there. The one that I'm looking for is England. And the main goal of this series, if not World Conquest, is going to be this achievement. Sorry for that, I'm actually in another window and I'm going around the world. Guys, around the world in 10, 10 minutes. No, not even. 10 seconds. Here we go. Let's start Iron Man. <laughs> uh, also, I changed the position of my mic again for those of you who are wondering. I had it right here and it sounded really echoing and I'm kind of hoping it's less less of an echo right now. I do. I truly hope so. Uh, if anything is wrong in the future or right now, do let me know. It's really important that I know these things ASA bloody P. Okay, so let's get started. So, England. And all of the information that goes with it. Uh, the religion. And, and this is the... Where is it? Reformed Center of Reformation. A uh, Angelicism. Which is not as good as, as uh, Protestant, actually. And actually, if we're Protestant, going against the um, Catholic faith is actually way better. Way better. So, the government as well as the environment. Now... Oh, wow. So, there's a few options that we can assume. Um, we'll have to check this one first. So, Burgundy has... Oh, Burgundy, Austria, as well as Castile. Ooh. Now, that is interesting. That might change a lot of it, actually. Uh, the reason for it is simple. Burgundy is bordering France, of course, as we can see already. Uh, we can actually, perhaps, keep Maine. Now, interesting, because we would go into the mission that's called a hundred years war. 
and this will get the forced union on France and Brittany. Uh, but usually I would go to levy the troops. Levy the troops and getting into Ireland, Scotland and then just bypassing the, um, the Hundred Years Wars. Maybe we don't have to do this. But it kind of depends who... Oh no, that's never going to happen. <laughs> Shit. Uh, because Burgundy is never going to help me in this war. Yes, he rivaled and he is enemy to France. He is never going... Because he's my enemy. Burgundy will never help me. Which is a bloody pain in the ass. Also, making this makes it really difficult to get into Paris. He will never give me military access. And I would have to go all the way around. Or siege down this farmland level 2 fortress and then take Paris. It's really important that we do eventually. Let's take things slow. So what I like to do is set myself up to... And let's get Denmark in here. Let's not rival France yet. We don't need France yet. Scotland, they will disappear. Let's get into Burgundy as well, rivaling him. So we rival everyone back. That's rivaling us. We can choose to go and embargo everyone and it will take a bloody long time. Um, and for the amount of, let's say, power projection wise, Burgundy is... Uh, it's one, that's... Two, three, four, well, uh, probably six. Scotland is seven, eight. And Denmark is nine, ten, eleven. And there's a minor vessel, Holstein. So that's 12 power projection. Hmm, actually that ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. So, since France is already hating and being hated by Castile... And Aragon hates Castile. Are still going to be allying Castile. As for Austria. Austria is not the most important ally. He still has the uh, personal union. I think. Really. You don't have the personal union. I thought you started with the personal union here on Hungary. Apparently not. Okay. Well that's good to know. That is good to know. Let's get my ships. And what we'll do is we get the uh, the light ships here. Clicking that button. Collecting trade in the English Channel. Uh, we'll separate the heavies. And uh, we'll put them there in Norfolk. Uh, we're not going to be mothballing them. Because we will use them pretty early on. Hopefully. Let's see if you started. Yeah, he's being guaranteed by friends. Minus oh, setback. But it's usually that way. As for this. Advisors. Let's get the National Unrest guy. We'll get the Diplomatic Reputation. And... Oof. Well, the Land Maintenance modifier saves me a bit. For Defense, though... That is actually not going to be that useful. And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you why. So, we'll go with the Land Maintenance modifier. Saves me a bit of a cash there. Uh, we're not getting an air. So, this will set me up for the disaster. Where the hell are you? I can never find my disasters. Because I tried to get away from them as far as possible. So, here's the War of the Roses. Brilliant. Uh, missionary strength, institutional spread, negative 5. We're not using the missionary yet. So, we have too few seats in Parliament. So let's change that. We're going to be giving Gastony its own territory back. We're going to give Normandy its own territory back. And now we're going to be force-feeding Normandy some more provinces. Like Maine. And uh, it's important that you give away all of your territory. And then we're going to be scourging them. So, if we are at war, they will not assist. If they don't ex um, assist us, they won't be taken. That's the main idea of it. So that won't be taken. Also because you made them your vassals. Let's say because I'm pretty sure we're going to be over for our uh, relation slot really soon. Let's go and dynasty actions. Royal marriage. Room. There we go. I love it when they cheer like that. Let's take a look. So we're four on four. Now uh, Scotland is going to be one of them. 
and eventually I'm trying to see if we can force the personal union again on friends. Maybe, look, I, I want to stay away from the Europe as much as possible because it's just going to be bad for me. <laughs> it truly is going to be bad for me. Okay, so two few seats in Parliament. We lack one. Give just one of these provinces that seat. And we'll increase some of its military power as well as its trade power. And we're going to be starting a debate here. So we can either get a Admiral 40 tradition, we get some sailors, we get advisory cost negative 10, uh, land maintenance modifier negative 10, that's actually quite good, and the attrition as well. Let us grant those titles, because that is actually one of the cheaper, and my ruler is going to die nevertheless. So, doesn't matter at all. The looming disaster is still going to be here. Now, Castile will royal marry me. And Portugal will also send me a royal marriage. Portugal itself, I don't find, is that interesting of an ally. He's never helped me at anything, actually. So, yeah. Bit salty there. Now, as for the manpower, it is quite high, and getting to half of it is going to be rather annoying. Let's make... Full stacks, we're going to move a few up there to Lancaster, and also we're going to be making a Latin troop over there. So these are going to be our main armies, and 30 should be enough after we exploit our development. Might be the worst thing I could ever do, but this way we'll get the subjugation of Scotland. There we go. And uh, Nazi. Uh, that's way better. So right now, manpower will drop like a brick. And hopefully, the force limit is going to be 30 in next month. So let's speed up here. Uh, make sure that we use our diplomats wisely. I want to build up against Scotland, because that's going to be the step one. So spy network. Uh, spy networks will help you with siege ability as well. You get a improvement on sieging down four. So we need to siege down two of them. Um, what else do I want to do? Well, we could build up against France. Mm, is that too interesting? Let's see if actually everything changed yet. Now it's probably next month. So we got now two free guys. Let's see if we can actually do the royal marriage with Castile. When? 12th of December. That's Royal Marriage Portugal. And who are you allied to? So he's going in with Scotland and Province. Now he could also take Brittany. And Brittany is annoying. But if he takes that, and it's even better. Uh, because we can actually take some territory over here and give it towards Normandy. Uh, but for now we don't have to worry about that. So manpower has dropped to 19. As my force limit apparently still is 32. Which is relatively odd. But we'll wait for the next month tick. There we go. It's now 30. Um, we lose our great power status. Which is not a huge problem. Uh, we'll have to wait until this guy gets there. So let's wait until all of the troops. You go over there. Uh, let's give John Talbot... It's a command, and we are going to be hoping that our ruler has siege pips. Here we go. Ah, uh, wow, maneuver is actually quite good. Oh, nice. That actually is quite surprising. That is quite surprising that I got that. So let's wait until he's done. Uh, let's take a look at ships, though. We are over our naval force limit by 5. Now, we got a bunch of trade ships here, or transports. Eventually, we will try to sell some of those, or just destroy them if things get too difficult to manage. We'll not worry about Scotland, who actually is only allied with France, so that's good, that is good. But by the time we go to war, he will probably have selected 
um, Ulster or yeah, probably um, Ty Tyronel, Tyronel, whatever. So here we go, levying the troops, and levying the troops will give me permanent claims on about the entire island, but also the subjugation causes bell on Scotland. So let's take that. Ah, that's not Royal Mary him. Yeah, it's only going to be these two. So friends will join as well as the islands. Subjugation will be taking Lofain over here. And friends, all of his vessels will trigger. And this is where di this come in, comes in handy. Because now my vessel is not going to join. So there's nothing he can actually do. And what we need to do is focus our troops on making sure that he is not landing troops if he does it's not a big deal he france has around let's go to ledger military navies uh, let's go with it's not rivals mm, let's look him up friends so france has a whopping eight transport ships so wow he can land eight troops at a time so actually not too bad to deal with that so right now it is time we're building up spy network it is definitely past the 12th of december let's get a royal marriage with castile and we are going to be declaring war here on scotland for the subjugation which will bring me over my diplomatic power and at this is actually quite annoying my allies won't join. Of course they won't join. It's a assault war. Don't look at these. Yes, they are extremely scary. Also, this one. It was actually important that I did that early on so I could take the siege land. And I completely forgot about it. So, once again, mistakes were made. Let's get the monopoly on wool. Let us... Don't need too much. This already brings me up by 10. Hmm. This one is really nice to have for in, in the future. Not right now. This will bring him up to 52. I kind of want one more. The influence and... A, let's take this one. This will bring him up to 62, which is more than enough. Now, the burgers are uh, a bit more annoying than that. We'll get the uh, private ship fleet. That's just plus 5. Brings him up to... Wow. Wow. A whopping 43.5, which is useless. We get the Monopoly on the textiles. Now it's 53. And... Hmm, inflation reduction is nice. All power cost, though. Hmm. Let's see here. So we add autonomy and negative 15 local development cost. You know, that actually is good and, and horrible at the same time. The local autonomy just gives me less money. But I like the, the lack of development because it is in centers of trade. Now, one of the centers of trade, let me find, is... No, that's not it. Oh, it's, no, it's London. So if we were to cheaply develop London, then we could uh, fulfill the large city need of uh, 32 quite early on. So that might not be such a bad idea to go with that. Exclusive trade rights. There we go. We will probably lose some money over here, which is not the best. But we got some money, which is good. We can actually use that money or just hold on to it just a bit longer we are still over that so that's not going to help we can of course choose to upgrade one of our estuaries giving us more trade power here in the english channel but we need this money <laughs> oh yeah we need it because most likely what we'll get is mercenaries so uh, we're not going to be selecting the dock run yet. We're going to be declaring war on Scotland. Like I said, only friends and the Isles. Let's confirm. And let's send you over there. Let's send you in that direction. 
fulfilled a mission. Now the Hundred Years Wars. Now usually the Hundred Years War sticks when France demands main. And you can either choose to accept that. Or you can choose to... Well, fight over main and you will most likely lose. I've tried it for several times and I've lost every single one of them. So there we go, the cause is bell. And we're waiting for our ships to get close to each other and we're going to be merging those guys up. I don't think I have an admiral. I don't need an admiral right now. And I can't even afford it, so... Hunt enemy ships in the North Atlantics and just go have some fun there. So usually he will send his troops over here. Now I'm certain that this is going to be a rather annoying confrontation because he's not going to be moving his ships then again then again once we we don't need the transports uh so once this fleet is gone mm, that's actually quite a bit though send you over there as well to soak up some of that damage uh, we'll group them together right now. Once the fleet is gone. Look at that. He, he is definitely going in. Look at that. Let's go to speed free. So I don't bore you guys to death. There you go. And there we go. Up we go. If we did not... Wow, actually we didn't reinforce that. Quite nice. Let's keep you over there. Let's go over there. Uh, we'll group you up for now. We'll lose a lot of sailors, which is a problem. Uh, we'll still give you the hunting enemy fleet. Hopefully we'll get some lights or some heavies. There is the Scottish army. If he goes in, we will have to deal with it. Now usually... Oh, you're going to pale. Oh, if the Scottish army is going to pale, it is, it's wonderful. Trust me. Let him cross. There we go. Now we can actually pause. We're going to be getting our light ships back. We'll post them there right over there. And this way we can block them in. We'll block those guys in so we don't have to deal with them right now. Ooh, what is this? So, two of a kind. We got a queen concert. A friend becomes an advisor at court. Gains a skill to natural scientist. Production efficiency, plus 10. And it's 50% cheaper. Or... We get John... Cape Grave to work even harder to earn his place and get 50 admin. <laughs> Let's get the 50 admin. Uh, we won't be able to afford that um, level 2 anyways. Not right now. Also, by getting those ships over here, we'll actually get... I think the mo progress modifier over here. Now, there's a way to calculate it and... I just don't know it. So, if you do know, then by all means, let me know. So here we go. The Scottish army is stuck. And there are eight lights and some transports. So we should be winning it. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh. So we either going to get yearly prestige negative two. Or a horrible air. Uh, well, if we can belay the War of the Roses... It's still good. I don't like the yearly prestige and the yearly legitimacy for 5 years. That's 25. That's a lot. So we'll take the horrible air and Edmund. Uh, let's hope he dies in childhood. Uh, something like that. <laughs> it's horrible, I know. Uh, we captured no ships. Sad. Makes me sad. So we need to decide. Do we want to go with military power? Hmm, we got a lot of Diplo here, and we need those. We need that additional Diplo. Getting Diplo tech, getting better advisors, making sure we, we are still making money, which is great. Due to raiding, but still. Negative 28. And we'll use both of them. He's, he's on the move. He knows what the hell is going on. He feels it. Also, friends... There's nothing. There's there's 11k over there. And, and he, he just doesn't know what to do at the moment. <laughs> I like it. I really do. I really do. So we do need to keep a close eye on our transports. They're, they're weak. They're weak. What is horrible, mate? Let me know. Hmm. So how is your day, Wenek? How, how is your day? Let me focus my attention on you. I feel you need it. So, have you been playing Stellaris? 
Uh, apparently there will be blood, so there's going to be a lot of war here in Ireland. Nah. No Stellaris for you then. Okay. I wonder if France will... Oh, we captured two transports by the looks of it, because we, we of course needed that. That is going to be assaulted by... Well, it's not good. That us Repair damaged ships. Get those ships over there. Even though he will win it, he will win it. Even transports are strong enough. But I'd rather have some heavies and some lights in there. Uh, we actually did win without losing any ships. Which I find really surprising. So once these guys are repaired, we're going to be helping them, of course. And these ships will be pushed out the second this fortress falls. I was copying you. Horrible. Horrible. Yes. It sounds like me. Let's go. King Lester declared war upon this new ornament. Yeah, getting one of these guys and just force feeding all of that would be quite nice. But I kind of want it for myself. And there we go. We're starting to lose money. I think... Yeah, the treasury is gone. Which is fine for now. Uh, let's focus a bit on these. Hmm. There we go. A few more ships are now at 100%. We get an active cardinal. So we're now making 1.12. Not bad. We could actually get yearly prestige from it. But I don't need to. We'll save up on this. And we actually have a free diplomat. So one is going to be building up against... Friends, because we need the extra fort sieging, and the other one will build up with the Papal States. So, improve relations, Papal States. And then out 51. After this war, we'll take land, and we're going to be taking land for a long time. A long time. Let's see, you're going over there. I don't. I kind of want you to go over there. I need you to get over there. <clears throat> you go there as well. Uh, one more tick and one of the other ships is going to be done. We'll have to really support this. Let's go. He will probably win it. Oh, he won't. Uh, I think we're going to be losing this one. Yep. Oh, he was hurt. But that ain't a big problem. Let's go before we start losing too many transports. I do want them. Um, there we go, actually. We got the, uh, the fortress. I completely missed that. Let's go send these two armies forward. There we go, 33 ships. Hopefully we will get a few of them. You can actually see the number going down. So, where will you go? Uh, let's seal the others up. Uh, we're going to be sending you to hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantics again. While we focus on this. We'll keep the army trapped over there. I'm actually quite surprised. Oh, there he goes. I was so surprised to see that he just didn't feel like... Getting all of his troops. Now, I'm sure there is more troops over here. But I want to know where. So, right now, we'll just split them in two. Uh, apparently, there was another fight. And slowly and steadily, we'll take the entire Scotland territory for ourselves. And there's our ticket into Norway. Uh, we gain army professionalism. That is quite nice. Let's go to that region. I'll try to pause not so much because, while well, the game is rather slow right now. Still, no trips over there, which is good. And, wow, that sieging down takes forever. And there is no fortress over there, so that is not the reason. Uh, you should be the first one to go to Sutherland. And then the other guy can go here to the um, Northern Channel, or whatever it's called. Let's see. Inner Herberts. Okay, cool. Nice name. We have to wait until our ships get there. Okay, now it's open. As you go there. 
Hopefully you make it in time. Actually, you go there. No, you stay there. Fine. 